As the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming, with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, page 9. The first coming of Jesus, January 1st. When the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth His Son to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Galatians 4, 4 and 5. The Savior's coming was foretold in Eden, when Adam and Eve first heard the promise. They looked for its speedy fulfillment. They joyfully welcomed their firstborn son, hoping that he might be the deliverer. But the fulfillment of the promise tarried. Those who first received it died without the sight. From the days of Enoch, the promise was repeated through patriarchs and prophets, keeping alive the hope of his appearing, and yet he came not. The prophecy of Daniel revealed the time of his advent, but not all rightly interpreted the message. Century after century passed away. The voices of the prophets ceased. The hand of the oppressor was heavy upon Israel, and many were ready to exclaim, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. Ezekiel 12.22 But like the stars in the vast circuit of their appointed path, God's promises know no haste and no delay. Through the symbols of the great darkness and the smoking furnace, God had revealed to Abraham the bondage of Israel in Egypt and had declared that the time of their sojourning should be four hundred years. Afterward, he said, shall they come out with great substance. Genesis 15:14. Against that word, all the power of Pharaoh's proud empire battled in vain. On the selfsame day appointed in the divine promise, it came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. Exodus 12.41 So in heaven's council, the hour for the coming of Christ had been determined. When the great clock of time pointed to that hour, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. When the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth His Son, Providence had directed the movements of nations and the tide of human impulse and influence until the world was ripe for the coming of the Deliverer. Then Jesus came to restore in man the image of his Maker. None but Christ can fashion anew the character that has been ruined by sin. He came to expel the demons that had controlled the will. He came to lift us up from dust, to reshape the marred character after the pattern of his divine character and to make it beautiful with His own glory. This has been an inspiring devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges.